All right, welcome to the show, the Camper Report. We're going to break down three games today. We've got first Steelers at Browns, then we've got 49ers, uh, Buccaneers at 49ers, then we've got the Monday night game, uh, Chiefs, no, Eagles at Chiefs, my bad guys. And again, we're breaking down the Steelers-Browns game, it's an 11 a.m. Uh, mountain time, which is where I live game, and it's a 1 p.m. Eastern time game. So, you know, this is a little short notice. Should have gotten this out to you guys uh, this morning. And so who knows that you guys will even be able to watch this before the game even starts. But we're going to do the Steelers versus Browns uh, keys anyways, and we'll see who watches it before the game starts tomorrow morning, which is currently 13 hours away. Um, but anyways, let's get to the keys Steelers versus Browns to start off our game, uh, matchup previews. Again, we've got three matchups that we will be previewing, uh, not, not actually not a super big week of football games this week. There was, I mean, I was, I was looking at the schedule and I was like in three or four games that could affect the playoff race or the divisional races. And again, I'm. I, I want to do an in-depth preview of each game, so I only picked out three. I probably could have done four because I know you know the Jets are playing the Buffalo Bills. That's a pretty big one. The Seahawks are playing the Rams. That's a pretty big one. But again, it's it's a lot to do a bunch of games. So in-depth view, we've got Steelers Browns. Uh, stay tuned for the other matchups. So let's go to the first keys. Right, the Browns need to run the ball. They have six games. They've won six games, right? Five of those games that they have won, the Browns have rushed over 100 yards rushing. So need to run the ball. That's essential. Second key. I mean, a guy that really is standing out, Jerome Ford. Came back, was injured for a little while, 6.3 yards per carry on the season uh, against a a good... Ravens defense, he averaged 6.3 yards per carry and had 107 yards in that game. So just, you know, the way the Browns are going to win this game is if they run the ball. Coupled with Pittsburgh has a terrible rush defense. 4.5 yards per carry allowed two running backs, which is tied for 26th in the NFL. So the Browns, how they're going to exploit this matchup is by running the ball. That is how they're going to win. Now with Deshaun Watson out, you might not be able to rely on your quarterback as much to throw it around. But again, Deshaun Watson hasn't even been that good. So all you're asking, all you're asking DTR, Dorian Thompson Robinson to be is an average NFL quarterback. And I believe that he can do that. Um, Another defensive thing that I think the, the Steelers will try to exploit is expect the Steelers' defense to blitz early. Dorian Thompson-Robinson, his only NFL start was versus the Ravens, and he threw three interceptions. And so they're going to try to put pressure on Dorian Thompson-Robinson, try to get the ball out of his hands quick, and we'll see if he panics or not. So expect them to blitz early uh, and get pressure on DTR. But really, like I said before, all DTR has to do is th- throw short passes because if the Steelers are blitzing it, there's going to be a lot of short passes open in the flat. And and this is where Kareem Hunt goes comes in. Is Kareem Hunt, last time DTR played, Kareem Hunt was not on the team. I don't believe so. Kareem Hunt's going to be a huge part because he is their main receiving back, coupled with Jerome Ford. So all he's going to have to do, really, DTR to win this game is rely on the Browns' defense. Who it, the Browns defense has been sensational all year and throw short passes, not let the game get ahead of him, and you should be fine if you're a Browns quarterback. And again, go expect the Steelers to go after James Hudson, left tackle for the Browns. He's filling in for Jedrick Wills. He hasn't had a great PFF grade this season, so expect the Steelers to also go after Jedrick Wills and expect TJ Watt to eat. Again, the Browns' offensive line is quite good, but the Steelers are going to generate pressure, and it's how DTR can kind of navigate around that pressure. Defensively, 
you're looking on the opposite side of the ball. The Steelers are 28th in the league in offense. So I obviously all Steelers fans know that Matt Canada or whatever his name is, is not great just all around, but the Browns have a good matchup because their defense is really good. And they, I think they're the number one scoring defense in the NFL. And then you have a Steelers offense that is not very good. So that's a really good matchup right there. Um, and so again, if even like if the, the Browns can get a few takeaways on defense, this game should be in the Browns favor because Dorian Thompson Robinson should have a pretty easy job. And so that's it's really up to the Steelers to make it as hard on him, him as possible by generating a lot of pressure. Offensively with the Steelers, running the ball is also going to be very key. Jalen Warren is kind of starting to replace Najee Harris as that RB1. He's playing really well. Uh, if they, if the Steelers can somehow find out a way, it's it's really the same on both sides. This game is going to be a very trenches physical game. Obviously, this game is in the Browns stadium, so it's going to be a little bit colder. There's going to be a huge crowd there, but both teams are going to be gritting it out, really are. So if both teams can successfully run the ball, I think it's it's going to be a low-scoring game. It's going to be a very defensive game because, again, the Steelers do not have a good offense. The Browns are relying on a, I believe it was fifth-round pick, who so far in the NFL has not done great. The Browns are relying on a rookie quarterback to deliver them this win. It is in the Browns stadium, but I'm going to say Steelers get the win due to lack of QB experience is what I wrote as my final key. I think at the end of the day, if you're trusting Kenny Pickett or Dorian Thompson Robinson to go down and give you a game winning drive, I think it's got to be Kenny Pickett because he knows these situations a little bit more. But expect the Browns defense to eat. Expect Miles Garrett to do a great job at getting pressure on Kenny Pickett. But you know what negates pressure and uh, pass rush is running the ball. And I think the Steelers, now with Jalen Warren, have a little bit of an edge there. They've ran the ball really good all year. So, and again, final score to this game, 2017, Steelers get it done. That's my final score. Stay tuned for 49ers versus Buccaneers.